All right, we have all heard that goat milk is a great dairy alternative, but did you know it can also be a great skin care alternative? For the past few years, we've seen milk-based skin care popping up from an array of different brands. And this week, our beauty expert, Christina, she's going to talk about goat milk-based skin care. All right, Christina, uh, this might have been one of more your unique intros here on Current. Goat milk skin, in the words of our friend Ricky Ricardo, you have some splaining to do. Are you as concerned as me when you when you heard that, Natalie? Yes, very much so. <laughs> um, I was concerned, like mostly about the smell. In my brain, I kept relating it to goat cheese, and I was like, mm, I don't know. So I'm glad I'm not the only one who's alone here. You're the expert, and assuming that we're talking about skincare today, that smell, though, not the case in real life. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, it's definitely not the case at all. Um, <laughs> the brand is Beekman 1802. Um, partners, a doctor and a writer bought a farm where they hosted their neighbor's goats. In, and then in 2008, the recession hit and they needed a new source of income. And they Googled, what can we make with goat milk? And the answer was soap. And then this brand that started with selling goat's milk soap to their neighbors is now a full clean skincare line that as of last year is sold at Ulta Beauty. Um, and after trying some of the products, I have to say they're really, really nice. I like them a lot. Wow, what a turnaround from uh, something in the pandemic. So what are the benefits that they learned and that you learned of goat milk? So goat milk is actually a natural form of lactic acid, which we know is a key ingredient in most of our skincare. Um, and also because goat milk has the same pH as human skin, the absorption is much more effective than typical ingredients. So you have better absorption and an ingredient that doesn't throw off our natural pH, which means that our skin's microbiome stays balanced and nourished. And Beekman 1802 prides itself on being cl on the clinically kind promise. So they're beyond clean, they have kind ingredients, and they try and make skincare as simplified as possible. They call it goat skincare because it's great for all types, gentle enough for even the most sensitive skin. Oh, I like that little acronym there. All right, tell us about some of the products that you have tried out from Beekwin. So we all know that vitamin C and retinol are drilled into our heads as staples that should be in everyone's skincare regimen, um, but they can be harsh for those with sensitive skin. So Beekman came out with booster serums created without the harsh active ingredients. They have a vitamin C or golden booster, which is made up of amylaberry, which is nature's most potent source of vitamin C. And then they have beta retinol or the dream booster, which is made up of a a coochie oil, which is um, four times less irritating than traditional retinols. And my favorite part is this video right here, how they paired it with their best-selling Bloom Cream, which is a probiotic moisturizer. And if you look, you can see how you can get the perfect equation in a cute and neat way of both the cream and the booster, one for daytime and one for nighttime. And they have that subtle, clean scent, and they feel really wonderful on your skin. Well, and as an animal lover, we think, okay, it's coming from a goat, but are we concerned about these goats and their treatment? No, not at all. They're Leaping Bunny and PETA certified cruelty-free. As you can see, those are the founders. So they're kind to our skin and to all those cute little goats. Wait, I need a baby goat based on that photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We know that they're PETA certified, so that's a really good thing. And they're good for our skins as well. Everyone needs a cute little goat in their life. All right. Next week, we are talking about something that is a focus of you. I have to ask, how is that baby doing? He's good. He's, he's baking well. He's, he'll be here in seven weeks. All right. We're going to focus on some mommy self-care next week. So in the meantime, though, follow Christina on Instagram. That is going to be makeup by Christina G underscore.